Do you know about Git Rebase? If you don't, you're in for a treat. It has a lot of options, but my favorite one is the interactive rebasing option. Let me show you an actual example of a practical use case for that. So I've been working on this repo for a while now, and I have a lot of commits. I haven't pushed those commits anywhere. They're still local to my machine, which is important by the way. You don't want to rebase something that you already pushed for others to work with. Only rebase commits that you have not shared with others, because otherwise bad things happen. So since this Git repo is not shared with others yet, while I was looking at the commits, I noticed a few problems. To get a more clear display of these problems, we can use the dash dash one line log to just see the commit messages and not the summary. So I noticed two problems in my commit messages. We have a typo in the 5.3 commit and the 5.1 commit is out of order. It should be after the 4.5 commit. We can use git interactive rebasing to solve both of these problems. We'll rebase this list of commits and change the order for 5.1 and reword the commit message for 5.3. So I'll pick the commit right before all these problems, and I can do git rebase dash interactive this commit hash, which is right before the problems that I'd like to solve. So when I do that, the default editor in your environment is gonna open up with the actual order of the commits to be rebased, and I can do a few things. First, I would like to remove this line because it's out of order, so I'll remove it from here, and then I'll paste it in its correct order in here. And the rebase will take care of doing that order in my commit for me. Of course, with any rebase like that, you might get into conflicts, but I know we're not gonna get conflicts here because all these commits work with different directories. The other problems that I like to solve is here. This commit message has a typo, so what we need to do here is to replace the pick keyword with a reword keyword, or in short, just R. And as you can see, there are a few other options you can do with the rebase. You can actually stop at any point and edit the commit message itself. You can squash multiple commits together, and you can even drop commits if you need to. So these two edits that I did will solve the two problems in my Git history. So let's see how that's gonna work. Once I save this file, the rebase will start, and it will stop where I instructed the rebase to reword the commit message. So we'll fix this problem, save and quit, and the rebase will continue and finish. And now if we take a look at the log one more time, we'll see the commits in the right order. 5.1 is now after 4.5 and the typo is gone. How cool is that? 